real quick, giving all praise to Yahweh, Hashem, 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 Yahweh, Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video, make this real quick. When martial law comes and all hell breaks loose, they're going to be grabbing these women up. They're not going to say anything to them. They're just going to grab them up. So you see, and this is all over the country. We were coming back from the camp, and we saw a couple of Edomite women walking in the dark. You know, they do their two-mile walk, three-mile walk, or whatever. And it was this one woman, we all noticed her. She had a... Uh, spandex, whatever you can call it, and it was real tight. You can see the the, her, the shape of her body, uh, her breasts, her breasts, her butt it had a nice little butt, nice little shaped legs. And I and I and I said, I said she ain't got no business being out here like that. Somebody could roll up on and just grab her up. You know, you got this um, the what do you call it, uh, sex trafficking industry, and these guys from other countries they come up and they grab girls. Women shouldn't even be out by themselves in the daytime. Forget about the nighttime. But when, the, but when the when all hell breaks loose, these troops that come from outside the country, they're gonna be grabbing women up. And their mom is teaching teach them this. You see, you see, you see, you see. See, they're really looking for attention. And they're what you call uh, scantily dressed. Let me see, is there another? Uh, okay, are these different girls? Not the same girls, they came back. See, in the ancient world, you grab women up. If she didn't, if she didn't have a husband, that's what the law of grape is all about. Sometimes you look at a woman and you got to just got to have it. In the ancient world, if you grabbed it, you you break it, you pay for it. But see, you, these guys, these other Israelites, don't understand because they're not deep in the scriptures. They don't go into the Hebrew and, and all the Greek. They're not thinking like scholars. You see how they'll grab, they'll grab her up quick. They'll grab, pick her up over the shoulder, throw it, throw in the van somewhere, and then you never see her no more again. She be in another country. They be speaking to her in a different name, Arabic or something. Got her on a, a damn auctioning block. She's scared to, this is shit that you wear when you go to bed. Well, I don't know no better. I'm only, I'm only uh, 13, 15. They don't care. They're, they're out there looking for attention, man. Where their mama's at? Where their father's at? This is definitely the land of confusion. Yeah, this place is out of order, man. Like Job said, I'll leave you with that precept, then I'm then we'll move on. Job, I believe it's Job ten, if I'm not mistaken. Job ten. And I believe it's either 20 or 21. We can start at 20. Okay. Now he's talking about death, but the place that, that he's talking about he's going to go is actually talking about America. It's to understand, it's talking about death. But 
but this is the, the shadow of the, the valley of the shadow of death that, that David spoke about. I said, I should have been, you got to read the whole chapter, I should have been as though I had not been, meaning I should have never came here. I should have never been born. I should have been carried from the womb to the grave. In other words, he's mad because he's in this body, that chains of darkness. Are not my days few? Cease then and let me alone that I may take comfort a little. Let me get a little rest. You know, East, you know in this system, you know, Sunday is the, the, the devil that you rest, but you had to go to church and uh, back to work Monday. And Christmas, different holidays, the, the, the slave master would let you chill out. So this is this is the Job that I may take comfort a little. Let me get let me get a little rest before I go. Whence um, I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. So it's talking about death, but it's actually talking about Babylon the Great. He said, let me get my mind straight before I go to Babylon the Great. That's what, it's, that's what he's talking about in code. Before I go, whence I shall not return. In other words, once they shackle your ass up, ass up and put you on ships and bring you over here, put you on auction blocks, you ain't coming back to, to uh, Africa, West Africa, Israel. Hey, see, we've been, we've been out of our, our land since what? Really since 70 AD. So you're talking you know, 2,000 years. Even the land of darkness and the shadow of death. Death is always behind you, like a shadow. That's why King David said, he was talking about America too. He said, he said, yea, though I walk through the valley, lowland, of the shadow of death. Let me do this. Let me do this. Isaiah chapter 24 and 10 says the city of confusion. Now look at this. The, the, the uh, okay, let me see. Shadow of death, shadow of death, shadow of death, shadow of death. Wow. Shadow of death is in there. To give light to them that sit in darkness. What does it mean to give light to them that sit in darkness? The ones of us that are in this captivity that don't, that don't know that we're Israelites. So what light are we giving them? We tell them that the Israelites, Yahweh Shai is coming to save us. This is Babylon the Great. We're going to be kings. You know, our forefathers go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And in, and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. What's the way of peace? Ultimately, the kingdom. Right, uh, set in the region and, sh and shadow of death, light is sprung up. So what's the light that's springing up? This truth. I didn't know shadow, the, the, the uh, term shadow of death was in here this many times. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. That's the truth. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, that's America, upon them hath the light shine, which is America. That's why I be telling Bishop Nate, I said, you ain't got no business going to Africa and uh, all these different places around the world and ain't nothing panning out out, out there. The, the focus is here in America. And I always go to uh, uh, Acts uh, one verse, start at six. It's in actually it's in verse eight. It says you will, you will have power, and you will uh, preach or pr prophesy in um, uh, Jerusalem, Ju your your Hawadiah, Judea, Jerusalem, Samaria, and into the uttermost part of the earth. The uttermost part of the earth is America. That's the uttermost west. 
It says, uh, Psalms 107, and such, such as sit in the darkness and in the shadow of de death, being bound in affliction and iron. A yoke of iron. Uh, though thou hast a sore broken us in the place of dragons. This is the dragon and covered us with, with the shadow of death. This is uh, King David. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. There is no darkness nor shadow of death where the workers of iniquity may hide themselves. It said a land of darkness as dark darkness itself in other words a land without the truth the the light is truth it kept referring to light right it says and of the shadow of death without any order this place is out of order it's, that's why you got you can be any religion you can worship a head of lettuce like i said in the previous video that i did i said um when you go to arab countries you got to Certain Arab countries, you got to convert. There's only one religion. That's Islam. Even if you go to visit the country, if you are Catholic, you can't come in. You got to convert to Islam. So in this place, you can be any religion that you want. And then in Christianity, they allow, you know, women to be pastors and deacons and cardinals, and you know, you can marry. A man with a man and a woman. This is complete. This is the land of confusion. The city of confusion. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 24 and 10. Babylon means confusion. And so with, without any order. This place is out of order. You saw how those women were walking down the street. Now when all hell breaks loose and there's martial law declared. Ain't nobody going to be shy and say let me see. I hope she goes out with me. You're just going to grab it. You know why? Because you can die at any moment because you're you 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 toting the you toting the AK or whatever the hell you toting and you you can kill the next guy that you see you can kill them or you can be killed if you're not fast enough you can be killed so you think they're gonna take the time and be and be uh, uh how you doing can I talk no they're just gonna take it everything everything is gonna move fast you ain't gonna say let me, let me hope if she like me you gonna you gonna like her fuck what she she think. And that's gonna fuck up a lot of you jakes. When this when this motherfucker really go down, when hell really breaks loose, you're not gonna have anywhere to turn. And where the light is as darkness. Right, the light is as darkness, because when we bring out the truth, they they what do they do? They deep the main group that they're demonizing is, is the Israelites. These small hats, the Jays, the JJs. They lawyer up. They're not lawyering, lawyering, lawyer, 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 lawyering up for Sarnetta or the Black Panthers or the, uh, you know, any of those groups. They're lawyering up for the Israelites. Why? Because we're a spiritual threat. Because we're saying that we're the people. So that's a controversy right there. That's a that's a uh, dispute right there. Because now you got to ask a question, well, you guys say you're the people, and these guys say you're the people, so we got to find out what the truth is. Let me, let me, let me do a word find on the word light. Comes up eight times. A land of darkness, uh, the darkness itself, and of the shadow of death without any order, and where the light is as darkness. That's why when you explain it to Jake's, going back to IUIC, they did the church blitz. And I knew that shit wasn't going to work out, because you know what? All those churches are in dark, and they're in gross darkness. So whatever you tell them, you tell them they're the Israelites. No, we're not the Israelites. The Israelites is over there in Israel. And besides, everybody can make it anyway. And then, when you, and then they'll say, they'll say, well, wait a minute. And the New Testament says Gentiles are going to make it. So you're trying to explain to them that the Gentiles are Israelites and they can't see it. 
So that was that was a wait that's that was a complete waste of time and money. Then they call the cops on you. Then they pull guns out on you. Then the woman pulls shoes out on you. They wanted to they wanted to fight you. You can't you can't um shove this this truth down the person's throat. This is only for the elect. You march around uh Geno Jennings thing, which was what? Which was in, clearly intimidation. Clearly intimidation. Says we 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 will be, we, we we will be as sheep in the midst of wolves. We're not the wolves. To to protect the sheep, you got to be like the wolves. <laughs> That's what Alonzo said. He said uh, he discovered uh, deep things out of darkness that bringeth out to light the shadow of death. Isaiah 9 and 2. The people that walked in darkness, we're walking in darkness. This is the only captivity that we're in that we don't know our nationality. The Romans, we knew that we were Israelites. The Babylonians, we knew that we were Israelites. The Assyrians, we knew that we were Israelites. That's why the, the northern kingdom knew how to go to another land there they can keep the laws because they knew that they were Israelites. In Egypt, we knew that we were Israelites. This is the only land that we, that we were void of understanding who we were as a people. So it said, the people that walk in darkness in this place have seen a great light. What's the great light? The men of the Most High teaching His word. They that dwell in the land of the shadow of death, which is right here. Upon them hath the light shine. So who the light shines on who? The elect of Israel. Only the elect of Israel. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.